This WBTV high definition program is sponsored by Time Warner Cable. WBTV News at 6 starts right now. And you can see why the name of this creek is causing such a controversy in Union County. Good to have you inside with us. I'm Maureen O'Boyle. And I'm Paul Cameron. Welcome. Almost 30 years ago, leaders in Union County agreed to change the name to Salem Creek. But apparently not everyone with the state and federal government got that memo. WBTV Steve Crump on your side is out at the Union County Courthouse in Monroe tonight. Steve, I know you covered this story 27 years ago. It was supposed to change the name, so what in the world happened? Paul, I can tell you somebody obviously dropped the ball. I remember standing in this very spot back in January of 1985 talking about the changes that would be on the way, but apparently in many ways, well, it's back to square one. January 8th, 85, after discussion. Workers at the Union County Planning Office are revisiting a controversial mapping issue that should have been taken care of decades ago. Full surveys corrected. The Turnpike Authority's, you know, Monroe Bypass maps are correct. But then I found a, a map on my wall that still had, you know. The offensive term. The offensive term, the very offensive term. Planning director Richard Black is attempting to right a wrong over the name of a local tributary once known as Negro Head Creek. How does that happen and what can we do to make sure it doesn't happen again? By all appearances, what's now known in most circles of Salem Creek is serene and quiet. But back in 1985, county commissioners unanimously asked the federal government to change the name. The feds agreed to. It still shows up on maps that were made later and online in a U.S. Geological Survey report we shared with Union County residents. That's awful. That's offensive. I mean, we should be over stuff like that today, you know? I grew up in the uh, early 60s. Franklin Deese is the only African-American mayor in Union County. He represents Marshville and grew up near the tributary. 27 years later, after the government says no, and it's still like that, that that's when it becomes offensive. County planners are asking the USGS to revisit the issue. It still is appearing in, in various publications with the not corrected name, and how do we go about making those corrections? Meanwhile, Mayor Deese is hoping any future name change will be permanent. Change it right away. I mean, put a conscious effort to change it, and not so that 20 years from now, we're not revisiting the same thing. A lot of other people here in Union County feel the same way. We learned late today that conversations are underway between the planning department along with federal and state agencies finding the best way to resolve it all. Mm -hmm. For now, we're live in Union County. Steve Krupp, WBTV, on your side. And an interesting side note, Steve, since 1982, the federal government has banned the use of that offensive term, Negro, on all official titles. New information tonight on a creek name controversy. We started following this story decades ago. Leaders in Union County changed the name of Negro Head Creek to Salem Creek in the early 80s. But on Monday, we learned some state and federal agencies were still using the old name. And since then, we've discovered even more instances of the term and an even more offensive name on North Carolina maps and documents. After seeing our story tonight, a Raleigh lawmaker is demanding answers. Steve Crump is on your side with details all new at 6. Salem Creek can be found on Highway 200 along Union County's back roads, but the pass connected to these quiet waters is causing a modern day storm. It's just politically incorrect. It is an old title of this tributary that offends state lawmakers like Senator Malcolm Graham. Not just the name Negro Head Creek, even the more derogatory term. We have done what we need to do to get it corrected. Planning Director Richard Black has the documentation from the federal government after county commissioners made the name change in January of 1985. And we're pleased to inform you that the Board of Geographic Names at its May 9th, 85 meeting approved the name Salem Creek. This name will be pu published in the decisions list 8502. Black first thought the term did not show up on the North Carolina Department of Transportation Studies for the Union County Bypass, but we later discovered it's in the highway design plans multiple times, not just here, but also on documents connected to the federal e EPA and in public notices published by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Even during the investigation into the ammonia leak at the Pilgrim's Pride poultry plant, the National Response Center expressed concerns about toxic runoff going into, you guessed it, 
Negro Head Creek. No one's paying attention and no one's calling attention to details. Um, certainly that should jump off the page. Senator Graham's frustration is that some things remain the same and he now wants answers. Will you contact these agencies? Uh, absolutely. Uh, as soon as tomorrow morning uh, in reference to when, uh, not if, but when these changes are going to be made. While the list of state and federal departments using the offensive name has grown, removing it from official documents clearly requires both time and tolerance. Steve Crump, WBTV, on your side. Yeah, they need to get to that and make that change as soon as possible. An apology denied over a racially charged creek name in Union County. This is a story we've been following for decades. That is when the name of what was once called Negro Head Creek was supposed to change to Salem Creek. But some state and federal agencies did not get the memo, apparently, and the old name showed up on a new map. Tonight, the Army Corps of Engineers sent us a statement. It says the Army Corps of Engineers regrets the reference to Salem Creek by its former name in the Monroe Connector Bypass Project. WBTV's Steve Crump on your side, live in Union County tonight. So, Steve, this apology is a direct result of your story. Well, Maureen, I can tell you we were alerted by the Union County Planning Office several weeks ago regarding this particular matter, and we started asking questions. The Army Corps of Engineers, the first to respond regarding a place that has brought a lot of pain. These waters are generally calm, but anxiety comes over a lengthy government-printed paper trail from state and federal agencies that carry the past name of the tributary that's regarded as offensive. This thing should have been changed uh, a long, long time ago. Add the name of State Representative Kelly Alexander Jr. to the list of North Carolina lawmakers who want to know why official documents 27 years later do not reflect the name change from Negro Head Creek to Salem Creek. It needs to be corrected. Corrections are in the works by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to its online documents, and Marshville Mayor Franklin Deese says this is a beginning that needs to go further. It's a start. It's long overdue, but uh, to see that they have at least acknowledged and apologized that they missed it on those maps, it shows that they know it's wrong. Despite scores of references from at least a half dozen agencies, the question is who will respond next? I'm going to uh, be in touch with uh, uh, DOT and uh, ask them to follow up and actually make all of the necessary changes on state uh, reference maps. Well, we did get a response from the North Carolina Department of Transportation who said that they are looking into this matter, but still, some 27 years later, it remains a frustrating issue. Live tonight from the Union County Courthouse, Steve Crump, WBTV, on your side. All right, Steve, and we also contacted other federal agencies, including the EPA and other state agencies, but so far they have not responded. And there's a new push to finally get the name Negro Head Creek erased for good. WBTV Steve Crump has the story all new at 6. This Union County tributary suffers from an issue of identity. Some modern-day maps designate the stream by its proper name of Salem Creek, but a current trail of local, state, and federal documents still refers to the waters by another title. Despite repeated efforts, the offensive title of Negro Head Creek has yet to go away. We need to arrive at, at, at a point where those kinds of things just are not uh, sanctioned by the state anymore. State Representative Kelly Alexander Jr. is writing new legislation oh, in an attempt to have the past name removed from all state documents. This ought to be something that just gets done because it needs to be done. 28 years ago, Union County Commissioners voted for the name change and were told by the U.S. Geological Survey that it was a done deal. But present-day web pages from the USGS call the creek the full-blown N-word. I'm very offended, mainly because we shouldn't have to see this anymore. Local NAACP President Kojo Natambu is even more disappointed by the response offered from the USGS, which says in part, it seems that there are only a few inadvertent errors on USGS products. We regret any errors that did occur. Very divisive, very negative, very retro. You know, and it takes you back to a place where we thought we had left some years ago. My guess would be that the people who named it 
didn't even think much about it. The name can be traced to the mid-1800s. That's when riders of the Pony Express shuttled mail to a place in Union County known as Negro Head Depot. Clearly, at this time, in this space, today, one has to look at any term that is used and be sensitive to the values that we now have. And that's the point Kelly Alexander wants to make. It's not a partisan issue. Uh, it, it's, it's an issue of let's bring North Carolina completely into the 21st century. <clears throat> Absolutely. Steve joins us live right now. Now, Steve, you broke the story. You've been following it for months. Is the name of this creek finally going to be changed? Paula, it looks like a series of baby steps. I talked with Kelly Alexander late this afternoon. Apparently, that bill is headed for bill drafting could be assigned to a committee as early as next week. He's gotten co-sponsorship for it, even bipartisan support. Meanwhile, on the federal side, we contacted the USGS. You see the apology there, but the question tonight is, when will they take it from their official documents? Yeah, it just seems like such a simple thing they're making so difficult. Steve, thank you very much. I know you'll stay on top of this. Tonight, a WBTV investigation that began more than than six months ago is getting results. A federal agency has now changed the offensive name of a Union County Creek on its maps, and a bill in the North Carolina House would also erase the name of Negro Head Creek from all state documents. All to at six, WBTV Steve Crump finds resolution to racially tinged controversy that began decades ago. Changing the inflammatory title of this tributary on state and federal documents is an exercise in cutting through red tape. Well, I was really upset about it uh, because, you know, here's, here's something that is clearly offensive to everyone. The creek can be found in the heart of Richard Hudson's 8th Congressional District in Union County after learning that the full-blown N-word appears on government websites, the congressman approached the director of the U.S. Geological Survey to remove it. Well, we've gotten assurances from the folks in Washington uh, that they've gone back and scrubbed their list. We actually had them make a change to what's online. USGS websites now use the title Salem Creek, which is the same name county commissioners agreed to back in 1985. It's time for those kinds of things to go away. North Carolina House Bill 636, sponsored by Kelly Alexander Jr., attempts to do just that by recommending that Negro Head Creek be renamed Salem Creek on all state documents. It passed the House by a vote of 115 to nothing. And at least by passing this uh, through the General Assembly, uh, a very clear message is going to be sent to the state people that enough is enough. I will support Representative Alexander on the bill. State Senator Malcolm Graham plans to speak on the proposal once it's up for debate. Meanwhile, move. Congressman Hudson has one simple uh, wish. But we need to make sure that Salem Creek stays Salem Creek. No word when the North Carolina Senate will make its final vote regarding the name change. And with passage of the bill, this time state lawmakers are hoping the title and the stigma will go away once and for all. Steve Crump, WBTV, on your side. Steve, thank you. That bill at this point is resting with the state Senate Committee on State and Local Government.